Well, per as usual, I have to come back to this because people won't let me live. Twitch is an odd beast in the sense of it makes absolutely no fucking sense. And if you've watched my channel, you have followed me on my journey, if you will, my epic voyage, me on my odyssey. I am Odysseus and you are my crew. Listen, nobody has time for any Greek mythology, honest to God. If they did, we'd all be smarter people. <laughs> we probably wouldn't be on YouTube. A number of strange things happened recently on Twitch. Number one, we got a look at uh, Twitch staff in real time in live action. You ever notice how Twitch staff is like this faceless entity that we kind of just see as some sort of vaporous creature that doesn't have a body. But thanks to this recent... TwitchCon over in Europe, we finally have faces to what the average Twitch staffers look like. These motherfuckers do not look like they have any fun. Like, my God. Twitch staff looks like they could suck the oxygen out of a fucking room. So two popular streamers, I'm guessing, two guys, started to wrestle around at TwitchCon. One guy let out a yelp like a small girl. <laughs> But I guess when you have a dude coming at you like, why is that buff dude wearing pants that fucking tight? Are those spandex or something? Man, that's a great ass. Yeah, it's round and muscular. What the fuck is he doing? Yeah, those are stretch pants. There's no way in hell you're fitting those in like normal jeans. So anyway, Twitch staff gets a load of these two guys roughhousing like guys usually do on occasion. That's what men do. It's a thing, you know? They play fighting, goofing around, picking up your buddy and throwing him out of a window. Good old fashioned shenanigans. You, you pick up your best friend and you throw him in a goddamn dumpster. Everybody has a laugh. Not when Twitch staff is around the corner. Was this for the, the thing over there? Yeah. Oh, that like, was me. That was you? Oh, no, my friend was joking. He like grabbed me and like, like jokingly threw me on the ground. Okay. No, it was absolutely- Look at that woman's face when she says, okay. It was like, she just immediately thought, ugh, toxic masculinity. My God, why, like, every woman here looks like that woman is visibly uncomfortable. The Hindu lady, I believe, I don't know what her nationality is. Indian, we're gonna say. Listen, I'm Native American, I can say this shit. She also looked like she was put off by it. This other lady looks like a librarian. Like, it just seems like this level of confusion. It was such a nothing thing. No. Staged or was it? Yeah, it was just like, yeah, it was completely staged. It was like totally fake. And he like, just like ran up to me, grabbed me. Oh, there goes a guy. He's like, was it staged? Obviously a stage. You saw how big that dude was. If he wanted to, he could have broke the little guy like a cookie. He could have thrown him through a goddamn computer. If it was real, he'd be dead by now. Of course it's staged. He's talking to you. He wouldn't be here right now if that was a real fight. He would have exploded into the ether if he actually got hit. I swear it was fake. Okay. I, I, I promise you. I can get him. He's right there. It was totally fake. I mean, it's obviously fake if he's telling you. And they're still looking like he's speaking another language. Literally, the dude could have been speaking the same language as Jabba the Hutt. Because that's the look they're giving. Huh? What do you mean it was play fighting hijinks? Are you having fun? They're going to have to piss test Twitch streamers later. They'll be piss testing for adrenaline. Oh, uh, your urine's looking a little cloudy here, Donnie. Have you been having fun on the weekends? We don't have fun. I don't want anyone to get in trouble. It's just like, it was totally joking. Don't, don't do that kind of stuff. Don't do that kind of stuff again. Okay, I promise I won't. I'm sorry about that. Don't you dare have fun again. Don't goof around. We only want to see you at your computer. We gotta let it go. Not even gonna say what I'm thinking. Because it only get me in fucking trouble. Because you can't have an opinion or just say shit. At least I don't think. Well, I'm not partnered or anything, but that lady doesn't have a chin. Also on Twitch, <laughs> an Asian streamer by the name of, uh, oh God, I can't remember her name. It's like Pyro, Pol, you, I can't remember. She's, she's cute. I'll give you that. I would eat out her <laughs> asshole for muscular dystrophy. <laughs> She looks like one of those popular girls on Twitch that does cosplay and everybody goes nuts for her. I thought it was her for a second there, but apparently it's not. Anyway, she was on Twitch doing her, I don't know, dressing up in a very sexy costume that frankly you'd expect to see a woman wearing when she's trying to rekindle the romance in her dying marriage. So she's adjusting her boobs so she has more cleavage and just casually whips out a tit. She pulls it out and just look at her slide that thing back. 
She slid her boob back inside her shirt the same way I slide money back in my wallet when I find something's a little too expensive. Oh, what did you say? It's a hundred dollars, huh? Uh, see ya. I gotta watch that again for research purposes. Oh yeah, baby. For an exchange Twitch. Mmm, my penis <laughs> Oh, oh, baby, my gay night will pull skate. Will this law? Oh, you told double nip slip, double nip slip, bro. Double nip slip. Oh, I'm good. It makes me wonder how come my aim is shit in first person shooters when I can see this. Like her other nipple almost came out first, and then she slides the other one completely at that. Nah, that's it. That has to be purposefully. Look how far she pulled it out. Look at those backs. This is if she forgot how big her own boobs are. It's like adjusting your nuts and then pulling them completely out of your underwear. You don't forget how big your nuts are, or small in my case. My balls are as small as Robin's eggs. Like, Jesus Christ. She is so casual with that shit. The, two, the clip has been removed off the internet, obvious reasons, because it's very naughty. Now this flies. Girls talking about importing drugs through the Mexican border. Totally cool. Bad Bunny only gets a three day ban and apparently her vagina slipped out while wearing short shorts. And it ended all with the stupidity of Twitch. Karu Puffs was banned for 30 days for doing blackface. There you go. And I don't really know if it's blackface. Is in the traditional blackface that you knew from America way back in the days, the 30s and 40s. Mammy, she's been waiting for me, praying for me. You know, back when even Looney Tunes was doing blackface. And it used to, they still aired those cartoons well into the 80s, dude. In some of the 90s, then they stopped doing it because they found it was racist. Those were racist reenactments of black people, honest to God. Karu Puffs, from what I can tell, from what I'm looking at, she seemed enthusiastic about painting herself up as this character. And frankly, I don't see what the big issue is. But Twitch is weird. In the sense of this was bad enough to get her banned for 30 days. Bad Bunny only did a three-day ban. Never mind. I'm just going to move on. I'm just so irritated. I'm just going to move on. I hate talking about this topic because I feel like you fuckers are just too fucking stupid. It's too fucking stupid to keep up. Why am I toxic? Uh, there's that one Twitch streamer who flashed her boobs full on and got partnership while suspended. There's girls talking about selling drugs. There's girls wrapping their legs around their heads in a very sexual position. There's girls making out. Even Russian chicks. There's the Russian girl. I, I prefer this girl painting herself up to be lifeline rather than seeing that one Russian girl who dances around watching YouTube videos asking for money to buy a house. Get the fuck out of here. Really, Twitch's priorities are all fucked up. And frankly, I didn't see it as racist. She was just trying to recreate her character. Granted, when black people do cosplay, they don't paint themselves up as white people. So I see the issue there. But then again, she's from Lithuania, for God's sakes. They don't have a history of taking black people and turning them into slaves like America. And if you really look deeper, like the Dutch culture. Zill was talking to me about this a while ago because I was making fun of his, <laughs> I was making fun of his culture. And I'm like, hey, you don't even have Christmas, you son of a bitch. And they do. The Netherlands does have Christmas in their own form of Santa Claus that has a helper that's blackish. He's called Black Pete. And over there to celebrate Black Pete, all the white people paint themselves up in blackface. And I gotta say, their rendition of blackface does come off kind of racist versus this Lithuanian girl who just really seemed to like Lifeline too much. I knew when she did this, my first thought was like, yeah, this girl's gonna get banned. And she was. She'll be back in 30 days, but frankly, I just feel Twitch is weird. This is a no-no, but painting naked boobs is totally fine. This is bad, but foot fetish streams are fine. I just can't seem to get my head around it. This was bad, but I'm not going to name these Twitch streamers this time around. But the ones that do this sort of, you know, shtick of IRL, they're cosplaying, they're half naked to go to my Patreon and see my photos. Some of those girls are now taking traveler's checks. You can pay them <laughs> in the most weird ways. That's fine. Hell, some of the ways they market themselves on Twitter is literally softcore porn. That's fine, but this chick walked over the line. 
frankly, I just don't understand Twitch one bit. Not one single bit. They should have been angry at anything. It should have been that headband. It's grossly inaccurate. And on a closing note with this girl doing lifeline, I'm going to put it to you like this in a way people can understand. I don't think racist people want to paint themselves in blackface. You know, you're not going to catch any pictures of Hitler wearing a yarmulke saying happy Yom Kippur. It's just something that racists don't do. So I don't feel the girl's racist. I just think she didn't understand how bad it would go over in Western society, over in America. I really don't care. It's a guy who's descended from the Native American people. You know, I got, I got like, every time you see a Native American character in a movie, they're usually not really Native American. Every time I turn around, there's some sort of fashion bullshit and there's a white woman in a headdress. That's cool. But this girl painting herself up to be lifeline was over the line. I guess it's just like people you can get, you know, like it's easier to kick someone that you can get your hands on rather than Johnny Versace. Even though, yes, I know he's fucking dead. Yeah, I'm the hell out of here. Get me out of here. I can't. I got to work on some podcasts. I got to streamline my time today, children. Rate, comment, and subscribe because frankly, without you, YouTube will bury me. Without you, Twitch would also bury me. You're the only ones keeping me from just disappearing into the internet ether. Like one day you get on, where'd Gundam go? I guess not enough of us rate, commented, and subscribed.